Hey, hey, Spring LaFay, Simply Tarot. This is going to be a reading for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Saturn. And these reading, this reading is for week four of October 2019. Now, these readings are timeless, so when you are drawn to it is when you may take something away from it. It does not have to be week four of October 2019. It can be any time that you are drawn to it. And if, they, if nothing resonates, don't try to make it fit your life. Just leave it. Go to a different reading or go to a different reader. And um, if you don't mind, give it a thumbs up. That way YouTube moves it along where it needs to be going to be seen. And if you haven't subscribed and you'd like to see future readings, hit that subscribe button. Hit that little bell. I'll notify you every time that I upload. Okay, Pisces, I'm feeling something a little different here. I feel like I'm supposed to take one of these. One of our gemstone oracle cards. I feel like I'm supposed to take one. Okay. I feel like I'm supposed to take it first, actually. I'm looking over to see if I see my little book. got Amber and you got Malachite okay have to watch I'm gonna knock my bloom off my orchid back here okay where's my little book okay you're being told that you need to um, possibly meditate with these gemstones Amber or Malachite or Malachite, however that is pronounced, or either carry them with you, maybe wear them. Okay, Amber. You are a child of light, dispelling the darkness in the world around you. And I feel like this really goes with the being Pisces. Um, yeah. For some reason, I just got that. Yes, yes. I have no clue why, but I'm, it come out. So, Malachite. Let's see. Where are we at? Seek the source of harmony and focus upon it. So, you're being asked to seek a source of harmony and focus upon it. Okay. So, now we'll get on with the reading. Whoops, I just slipped on me. Oh, Pisces. Well, Pisces, week four, October 2019 for Pisces. Week four. October 2019 Pisces Sun Moon Rising Venus Pisces Got the Ace of Pentacles Got the Seven of Cups Four of Pentacles The Hermit the Eight of Pentacles, Pisces, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Pisces, Pisces, for the Son of Pisces, oof, mercy, well it kicked them out there, it means I gotta move this up.
goodness. Okay. You want this Ace of Pentacles. You want a new beginning. You want abundance. You want a new beginning all the way around. That's the desire. You have many of choices. Many. Many of choices. But there's one. One that you have set up on a pedestal. There's one that you can't forget. There's one that you are holding dear to your heart. Maybe a Virgo. Hmm. This is the card of Virgo. Um, the Hermit. You're following your intuition. Um, I feel like there was some... I know I don't have the card, but I'm telling you. I feel like there was some form of feeling in pain here. Hurt. Some form of hurt. Something hurt you. But you are following your intuition. You are going with the flow. Because we do have balance here. You are working towards this connection. But there's distance. There's distance. This has not happened. This is a want. This is a desire. That's what I get. Yes, yes, this is a desire. This is not actually, oh my goodness, this feels, this is divinely guided. This is something that's going, this is something that will happen. But the timing's not right. That's what I'm getting. There will be equal balance, give and take. There will be that new beginning. There will be that leap of faith. There will be that peace within the connection there will be there he has love within this connection and I feel like you're taking on the energy of the king of wands the king of wands energy and that's what you want with this person that's what you want with this person you know, and normally I would put these back together, but I'm feeling like that's your person. They're taking on the Queen of Pentacles. Either you or them are taking on this energy and the other this. You know, this is love. <laughs> that's love. But there's our bottom. Yeah, we've got the Nine of Swords. That's keeping oneself stuck in their head, dwelling, sleepless nights, having sleepless nights over this connection. We're going to get a couple of these if they'll give them to us, if they come out. Okay. Pisces, four Pisces, October 2019, week four. Four Pisces. Can I get one for Pisces, please? Pisces, please. Can I get one for Pisces, please? Pisces, October week four. Pisces. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. What did I tell you? This is divine. I know I did not have all the cards. I didn't have any of the cards I was looking for. This one, yeah, but not the other ones. But I'm telling you, yeah, this is going to take place when it is meant for it to take place. This 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 connection is going to happen. This, there you go, on the bottom. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. This this is divinely guided. It is. This is on God's time. This is on the universe's time. This is not on your time. So the best thing to do is go with the flow. Have faith that you are going to have your person. And you will have them, Pisces. You know, it's not on your terms and it's not on theirs. It is on the higher powers. So when that time is right... When all the lessons are learnt that need to be learnt, 
that's when it will happen. And remember, you may want to, to um, meditate with these stones, amber, mal malachite, or either uh, carry them. That's what I got. If it doesn't resonate, don't try to make it fit your life. Give it a thumbs up so YouTube moves along. And this is an awesome read, though. I know it looks rather, you know... It feels like it's it's going to be good in the long run. It's going this is going to be worth that wait. It's worth waiting for. So and something is up with my voice for some reason. Uh, it's like I'm about ready to lose it. But um thanks for watching. Have an awesome, awesome day. Bye.